number of non-profit organizations around the world also continue to raise money to support the country. One of them is California-based Nova Ukraine. Since the Russian invasion in late February, it has raised $30 million and spent $16 million so far, providing much-needed medications, medical devices, food and other basic supplies. Joining me now is Director of Nova Ukraine, Igor Markov. Thank you for joining us. Uh, what are you finding is the most required thing right now? What are uh, your people on the ground saying they need? Uh, there are many things that are needed on the ground in Ukraine. We see a uh, very significant demand for uh, medical supplies, for food, uh, for evacuation services, uh, for basic infrastructure. We fund bomb shelters in several places. And we are listening to the people on the ground, to our volunteers and also to the refugees and to the people in need. Uh, and we are trying to adapt to the situation. And are you getting as much support as you were early on in the crisis in the war? Or are people getting fatigued with all of this fundraising, which is vital, but it's been going a long time now for, for some people? Yes, we definitely start seeing uh, a donor fatigue at the very beginning of the war. There was an outpouring of support. Uh, uh, m many people contributed uh, um, at some point later, we started seeing uh, bigger donors uh, coming in with support, uh, uh, then uh, uh, corporate matching programs. Uh, and uh, now we're starting to, to see some corporate uh, donors, uh, which, which look specifically at what we do and uh, select projects. But overall, there's definitely a problem with donor fatigue because uh, this war has been going on for quite some time, and there is really no end in sight. The problem is huge. The amount of funding, the amount of help that is needed is, is only growing. And so we are doing all that we can to adapt, to uh, convince donors to help Ukraine and to uh, route the support, these funds, to the projects that have most impact. Uh, the other issue, of course, is that, um, you know, there has been a, a, a food crisis, really, um, that's been prompted by what's been happening in Ukraine and, uh, you know, the sanctions on Russia as well. So the cost of living for people in the West has gone up and that's making it more difficult for them to donate. Absolutely. We, we see um, now the reports that uh, uh, food supplies are running low in many places in Ukraine those that are hard to reach, but even those that have good connections to the West because uh, some of the shipments have decreased from, from the West in part because of prices. Uh, we saw reports uh, just in the last few days that Russia is uh, taking away grains from Ukraine, from Southern and Eastern regions uh, into Russia. It's basically stealing. Um, and, and, and so we are doing several different things to uh, uh, feed people in Ukraine and also to support producers. We support a number of small uh, kitchens in uh, different regions of Ukraine, uh, Kyiv, Kharkiv, uh, in the south, in, in, in Odessa, in Mykolaiv, where uh, people are basically fed uh, uh, breakfast and, and lunch in the streets. Uh, we support uh, volunteer groups that uh, prepare food baskets and deliver uh, to disabled people, to the elderly who have difficulty leaving their apartments. And uh, we support food producers to, to make sure that uh, they remain viable and that they have the production lines running for canned meat, uh, pasta, and uh, several places that bake bread. Uh, isn't that ironic, though, that you're having to effectively import grains and basic foods into a country which up until recently was you know a real bread basket for the rest of the world it is definitely the, the supply lines are disrupted and uh, uh we, we, are, we are trying to adapt to the situation and of course trying to also make sure that these imports don't suppress uh food producers uh in ukraine uh, the situation is changing uh, we, of course, we know the government of Ukraine is, is trying to help as much as they can. But th this is really our strength as, as a nonprofit volunteer brown organization. We can adapt to the situation on the ground uh, very quickly. OK, um, Igor Markov, really appreciate your time. Director of Nova Ukraine. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Now, next, a dramatic.